yeah uh welcome back inside um i started this uh, video out in the woods uh it was nice to get back home and take a hot shower um i was supposed to take a cup of coffee and then go continue the the floss tube but i went shopping food for the next week as well so this is a few hours later in the day it's sunday the first of march and this is floss tube number nine or something who's counting uh however um Floss tube today will be not so much focus on floss tube or stitching. And I noticed also, by the way, that when I was out in the forest, I said that I was stitching a cowl, which is not what I'm doing. I'm knitting the cowl, of course. Uh, so there will be a lot more focus on knitting and crocheting and yarn today uh, but i do have a couple of fabrics i'm going to show you for stitching i'm going to show you a little bit on the mythical creature cell today they released letter e and it is for let me check my pattern here E for Enfield. I don't know. It is a um, yeah, um, a foxy looking animal. Um, yeah, whatever. I'm I'm gonna add pictures you know, insert them somewhere around me, so you'll see it. Uh, but the colors are very much like the, the Cerebrus, you know, the three-headed dog. Uh, so they're very nice and warm. Um, yeah, let's just keep on talking about uh, this cell. Um, I've uh, rigged up with lights and cameras and everything, and since I don't have much floss tube, you know, cross-stitching related stuff to talk about or show uh, I was actually thinking that uh, I'm gonna start letter letter E today in the floss tube I'm not gonna make it as a stitch along and I'm gonna try to show you guys parking I love to park I kind of miss it um, yeah it's a mess as well when you're having all the threads hanging down but <clears throat> that's how I feel at the moment I miss parking and I've never parked with uh, two threads uh, since I've always uh, stitched one over one when it comes to heaven and earth designs but the mythical creature cell is stitched two over two so I'm gonna try I'm gonna show you how I park how I park and with the help of another camera taking pictures i'm going to try to show you how i mark my patterns you know where i've stitched and where i have parked and this method i have done before i used uh, before i started using digital patterns so my first hates heaven and earth designs i didn't have any digital pattern or a digital app to put the patterns in like the pattern keeper like the pattern keeper app and like i usually say go get that app if you're stitching one of you know sarah Payne's you no know, pain free crafts or uh tilton or heaven and earth designs you're gonna love the app so but that what I, what I was saying that the method I'm using on my digital pattern is the same way 
that I did before when I printed out the pattern on paper and using just highlight, highlight markers, you know. I feel I'm very tired in my mouth. I don't know why. Yeah, I guess I'm tired. So I'm feeling I'm kind of struggling to pronouncing all the English words. And I apologize in advance. Yeah. So, as I said in the beginning uh, of this video, when I was out in the woods, I started stitching letter D for dragon two weeks ago. And I also made a stitch along for that. And when I had finished all the light green, I've always started with the colors where there is most, the most stitches to make. And I started another green and then I realized that I've made a mistake somewhere and I couldn't figure out where exactly I made the mistake. And it felt like it might be a bigger mistake, I don't know. But you know, my motivation just went away so I haven't finished this and I feel like well I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to keep up but this is my progress and as you can see this is the green uh, on the dragon uh, and where I'm at here I noticed that I'm off one stitch and I think the mistake is somewhere here and that means I will have to frog it up you know so my plan at the moment is to uh, just leave the dragon and get back to him when I feel motivated in the future or when I've stitched all the other animals. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But I hope, anyway, I'm, I've, uh, you know, picked up some colors for the new, um, piece of the cell. So, um, my plan is to start showing you the parking method. So that's all the stitching I've done for two weeks, so not much. Uh, but I, as I said, been I have been crocheting and knitting a lot. But we'll get to that. So, uh, I mentioned uh, in my last floss tube that uh, I received the wrong fabric from Crafty Kitten. Um, I was in the uh, fabric of the month club, but I, I, yeah, I stopped it. I, I wasn't too pleased, uh, but um, she redyed the fabric that I wanted and sent it. So it went very fast and I got them. And what I wanted was, was 28 count Ugana, and this is the December 2019 limited edition. And the lighting is so strong, you won't see. Let me turn off the light here. Yeah, it's very difficult to see. I have a very hard... I can hardly see that it's dyed. It's nothing like the Ada. I thought that Ada fabric was the ones that didn't pick up the colors too well, but I don't know. But you know, it, it feels soft and nice, it smells fine, and I guess there is some kind of moldering in there, but yeah. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I can't see it. I, I expected more, I guess. So, um, but she 
surged, I think you call, you call that, the edges. So that's very nice. And sure, her service is very nice. She's, you know, responding very fast. And the mistake, uh, I mean, no one wants to make a mistake by purpose. So. Uh, but I guess I wanted more in your face fabric than these are. So in the future, I will just, you know, just pick a fabric when I decide to, well, you know, um, you often imagine something that, oh, this design could look kind of nice on that or that fabric. And you start looking and, well, and then when I find that one fabric, I can get it, get that. <clears throat> but what I wanted was, you know, a whole lot of different fabrics to choose for my Mirabilias. But these were too vague, so I, I'm not sure. I don't know. So this is the other one, and this was the Vintage Violets. I had very high hopes for this, but... <sighs> I don't know. I, it's just... I don't see any violet in here. I don't see... I wonder, I, I wonder if it's... If it's... Uh, dyed at all compared to the Ada. So, yes, I am very, very, very disappointed. But I think there's a lot of people who are very satisfied uh, with the fabrics that she presents. And I'm looking for a plastic bag there. But no, um, I will, I think, yeah, I, I will order from her again uh, when I choose, you know, that one. I'm going to have that fabric uh, or I will just try someone else. Um, unfortunately, because she is in Britain. So if this would have been good stuff then I um, you know when we order overseas we don't pay any tax and all that so when we order from England still they haven't changed it yet but I guess it's coming we don't have to pay extras but I guess in the future we will so that's all the stitching. So if you don't want to listen anymore, that's fine. But now I'm going over to the yarn stuff and the knitting and crocheting. And in the end of the floss tube, we will do some parking. Yes, I have ordered a whole lot of yarn. I showed you the cotton twirl for the crochet, crochet cal, crochet along shawl I'm in. I've been doing a lot on this one. Let's see, so I don't poke holes in it. So this is the second yarn I'm in and all the middle I've crocheted away. So. I don't know if it's a good thing to start in the middle of the yarn. Mm, not a very big fan of it, but we have to try. Otherwise, we don't know. So let's see. There is my crochet needle. That's that end. I don't want to pull up a whole lot. There we go. So this is a shawl and it's very long. I'm like a little, a little, 
I am a little over halfway. So, bye. <laughs> yeah, we're still going. And we're to the dark blue. And I'm going to put some tassels, I think, at the bottom. So, I'm stitching. No, I'm, I'm crocheting the whole waist down as well. So they're, they're releasing parts of the pattern, I think, every week. Yeah, so it's, it's very nice and cozy. I love the colors. It's cotton, so it's very nice. Um, it's going to be way too warm to have in the summer, I think. But I like shawls to put around me. So I've been doing a lot of that and that has been very therapeutic, Therape therapeutic, what? Huh? <laughs> it's been very soothing to my mind because I haven't most of the shawl. Let's not drop it in the coffee. Ah, no. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, most of the, the, uh, the shawl. Uh, I've been like, it's been the same pattern, row by row by row by row. So, you know, all I've had to do is like count to seven when you do the half crochets. Or is it double crochet? I don't know. Seven of those. And then you do two puff uh, stitches uh, done with four times. So you just one, two, three, four. So it's been very easy, very easy. And, you know, I just have a book. I've been listening to Harry Potter. I'm finally finished with all the books. And it's been so long since I listened to <laughs> the last books. So I, I didn't remember anything. All I remember is that Neville is friggin' awesome and saves, you know, everybody, in my opinion. Um, anyway, um... So it's been very soothing. And then I started that other cow. Cow, not cow, cow. It's called the Land of Sweets cow. And that is um, the one that Michelle Bendy was stitching uh, during the floss mass 2019 and she used an advent calendar yarn thingy for this so hers looks like like this with lots of different colors and since I started mine after Christmas I didn't find any um, of those kits. I'm not very good at looking either. So, and I wanted a Nora George yarn because that's what the yarn, that's what the pattern was calling for. Um, and I feel kind of, well, kind of new. I, as I think I mentioned in my last floss tube that I did buy some yarn, which wasn't at all what I wanted. So I wanted that and I found her page in the UK, which is awesome. And I ordered three skeins of Nora George, uh, fingering, fingering, Nora George yarn, super sock yarn. It's 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. And it's Mr. Weasley's Ford Anglia. I mean, hello. No, let's turn off the light and get some real. <gasps> Look. This is so beautiful. Three skeins. And I think. Two is going to be more than enough. 
smells very nice. It's so nice. So nice. Um, let me show you the cow. Whoops. So I'm like 45% in. Almost, it could almost be a hat now. Which, which reminds me uh, that I actually finish, finished stitching a, um, a hat. And I forgot to bring it, so I'm going to go get it. But this is the cow. And I don't like this. But maybe after I'm done and I blocked it, maybe it's going to look better. But I think it's beautiful. It's also going to be way too warm. In the summer, but it's very nice to stitch. No, knit, not stitch, knit. And I made one of these yarn balls, and it's also with the yarn coming from the middle. It works pretty good with this one, but I don't know if that's so good because sometimes if when you pull the yarn out, you get. Um, a whole you know clump of yarn out and then there's a bigger risk of getting um, knots and everything you know a tangle yeah but I'm very nice I'm very happy with that very happy and then you know to keep count and you know, uh, you don't have so you don't have to s sit and count every stitch or every uh, row and all. I ordered from Etsy some of these. Hard to see. Um, I think there were like 20 of those in different colors and some of those uh, it's just a circle star so I just put them on the, the needles and then I had the, the plastic ones they're kind of big, but it's kind of nice. You can open and close them. So I've got a whole lot of different one of those. Um, there's one I haven't even opened. It's, it's some flowers. Not expensive at all. And then I ordered one of these with, uh, there's numbers. It's kind of nice if you need to, to do that. And here's more of those circular, circular uh, silver ones, but they were kind of small, so I don't know how good they are. And another one with some bigger. And because I'm braiding when I'm gonna stitch my um, the upside down cow from January's knit crate box, I'm gonna do that one with the energize me yarn for my daughter. And then I guess I'm gonna need some of these. So that's what I got. It would be nice to know how to make them yourself. Actually. So that was a little bit of two. Let me go get that hat. 
I don't know what's better with out the lights or with the lights. I don't know. So I've never stitched a hat before. I made it longer because I wanted a beanie feeling. So this is it. So it shouldn't be that much up. So it should be kind of fluffy in the back. Yeah, yeah, I think it's kind of nice. It's very nice and soft. Um, uh, I, now I don't remember what the yarn was called, but I mentioned it um, in my last video. So, um, but it was also very nice. You know, it was the same, like pearl knit, pearl knit, pearl knit. So it was easy. Um, what I was struggling struggling with a little bit with the hat and the cowl uh, was, you know, get the technique of stitching on a circ circular needle. Uh, and this one I stitched with a magic loop. And I didn't want that on the cowl because it just didn't feel right. So I was close to just jump over to sock. Uh, needles because I know how to do that um, but I didn't give up so I, I restarted the cowl quite a few times before you know I just figured out you know which size of the needle and everything so now it's just fine and I guess I should have done the same thing with this but it's very nice it's not super warm but I think maybe like um When I'm out camping later this year, it's gonna be nice to to have something to to warm your head, but still it gives you know um, some air to it. <laughs> so yeah, let's keep on going. I mentioned the cow, right? The knit crate. I didn't get a crate because they were out of it, out of them. But it's, it's fine because I asked for the pattern and the yarn after they had released the next month. So I'm very happy that they could give me the, the knit crate. And this is the upside down cowl, which I want to do for my daughter because she is crazy about Stranger Things and Eleven. And since Billie Eilish, Eilish, whatever her name is, has crazy yellow clothes, my daughter loves Billie and loves crazy yellow stuff. And when I saw that the Energize Me yarn was crazy yellow, I was like, Nina, do you want me to make you a crazy yellow upside down cow? And she was, hell yes. So here it is, and I love the colors. I love them. And I so regret that I didn't get the Energize Me yarn instead of the Chill Out, because this is so much more fun to stitch with. Um, So this is a 100% superwash merino wool. Very nice. And I think it's the same thing with this. It is. It's called Safari Sunset. And this is Golden Lion. Okay, I'm crazy. I know. Yes. So, pretty pleased with that. Uh... And then I stopped the crate too, because I was thinking, well, I guess I want to stitch bigger stuff. And something went wrong and they sent me the March crate as well. But as with the chill outs. So, yeah. It's fine, it's fine. What else? What else? That's the Weasley. Sorry for all the crackling. 
yeah, I think I showed you that. I'm going to do another hat with this. So now I feel a bit more experienced. So now I know this is going to be fine. I don't think I have more there. And then knit crate for February with the sock yarn as well is coming. Uh, but they were delayed, so I will have to wait a little bit longer for that. And then I joined another stitch along. No. Why, why do I call it stitch along? Knitting along. It's knitting a supersized... Supersized. Well, it's like almost like a one size shirt. Uh, so I like it when it's not so tight. And then on the sides here, there is like uh, lacing. I don't think there's, yeah, there's a picture here. Look at that. Nice. also these things are from Sweden uh, so that's why I'm kind of jumping on them because yeah it's a little bit easier when it's like in your own language and other people here doing it and you can order the yarn and it's here like the next day so this is a very special yarn I've never ever stitched with anything like this if it's kind of kind of rough almost like paper um, ah it's a linen in English it's 100% linen so this is made in Sweden so I'm I'm very excited about this it's it's very heavy so I hope it's it's gonna drape really nice so yeah blue I like blue I was thinking of black, but then someone said, if you usually wear black clothes, it would be nice with some blue to it. And I'm like, yeah. So I went with blue. But yeah, I want to, I want to finish the, the cowl first before I jump on to the next thing. And then I ordered one more order from Expression Fiber Arts. Hallelujah. Her yarn and her videos and her shawls. God help me. I don't know. If it, if it wasn't because I want this hammock and tarp and under quilt and top quilt and everything which costs way a lot and I need to special order it so I get it just the way I want it. I would have bought the yarn. And even though I'm all crazy about the yarn, I want to knit and crochet and stuff, I'm missing the cross stitching a little bit. And especially in my heaven and earth designs. And I'm missing my Randall Spanglers, you know, with the green dragons. And I have a kit, which I haven't started yet. So I'm very like, Maybe I should start that one. I'm like, no. Yeah, come in. Hello. Yeah, hello. You have to speak English. <laughs> what do you want? Melon. Melon? Melon is called watermelon. But didn't you just get watermelon? Well, I'm in the middle of the YouTubing, so. Yeah, okay. mm, don't cut yourself. Nope. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck to you. Okay. Right. It was Mina. So I ordered two things from her. So this is the last stuff. 
this is the last. And I don't know why I made ordered black, but okay. I ordered a new beginner kit for crocheting where you're going to do this cowl. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to look just as beautiful as her when I wear it. <laughs> and you get the um, crochet hook and you get the hand dyed yarn. So it's, it's a black, blackish yarn. So let's see. No, that's way too. So, and there is a little bit of a uh, gradient in here. Um, it's cocoa black, so it's kind of brownish black, but I think it will look fine. Oh, it's almost like a beard. You know, when I played EverQuest, have you ever played that? When I started playing EverQuest, I was a female dwarf and they have beard, you know? Yeah. Coco Black, Dewey DK. I don't know what Dewey means, but it's DK weight, I guess. And it's 70% superwash merino wool and 20% nylon and 10% silk. So maybe it's going to drape a little bit. Very nice. So I'm looking forward to start this as well. <clears throat> And then I watched her YouTube and I'm going to insert a picture of the shawl here or I will just link the video. And it was like, my God, it was so mean. And you knit it with three different shades of this yarn which is super soft there's some sparkling in this and it's just gonna be like a big uh, not triangle rectangle rectangle and either you just put it on you know your shoulders throw it around your neck or you can like sew it together so you get you know arms or, or you can make a poncho out of it and it's it was so nice it was like really my style so this i'm really looking forward to and i don't know why it dropped off but this is wine country hues and it's alpal alpaca silk dk and sparkle DK and pearl scent worsted. So I guess this is the alpaca because it's a bit fringy or very soft. And this must be the DK, the pearl scent worsted. Also very, very soft, very nice. And this is the sparkle DK. Uh, yeah, hand wash, lay flat to dry, yeah. So I have plenty of stuff to do. Right. So I'm like, 39 minutes into the video, so we're not going to take a look in this bag with all the finishes. We'll get to it, we'll get to it. So, let's see. I need to... Let me um, redo the cameras and stuff and set up and we'll do a short um, parking session. Yes. I'll get right back to you. Okay.
Okay, let's see if I can get close. Let's see how... What's happening? Oh my god. Is it recording? It's recording. Okay. So, I'm sorry about the auto focusing that it will focus on my hand and then it's gonna focus on the fabric. I don't know how to change this stuff. What you can see here is that I've marked out where I'm gonna start with the color 720, which is the color uh, with the most stitches. Yes. Let's do a double. Um, what else? What else do I need to tell you? This cue snap. I'm I'm usually a very big fan of cue snaps, but this one can't keep the tension, and I want usually want it very tight. So, but I will just have to deal with it. Let's move that like that. Whoops. And I'm going to start with a loop on the front of the fabric. Let's grab a needle. Like so. And so where I put that needle down, this is where I'm starting. Just gonna remove that, and it's two over two, right? One, bum, bum, bum. Like so, and uh, my face is in the camera again, like that. Now I'm gonna go back to my pattern, so I can start marking off, right? Stitching number symbol six. Let me mark it so you guys will see. <coughs> and then I'm gonna take a picture. I'm I'm trying. I'm gonna try to be very uh, detailed, right? So I will insert pictures as we go when I'm editing. So I'm stitching uh, full stitches and then there's the partial stitches and I actually think I'm gonna do the partials like this this time. Like this and you have I have one under. Try to remember to mark them off as I go. Now I'm into I'm into the other I forgot that I was going to part, but okay. Let's do like that. I'm so used to um, not to park. It's, it's been a while since I parked. So. One. Come on. Like so. 
so and then I'm gonna park it underneath that stitch and then I just pull out my thread I'm gonna mark them and I'm gonna show you how the pattern looks and then I'm doing like that park thread in the lower left corner yes now I'm taking another picture for you guys So, where you can see in the pattern, the orange markings I've stitched and then underneath the stitch there is a half uh, like uh, pinkish mark going like this and that's where I've indicated in the pattern that I've parked my thread, right? So, now I'm going to choose another color, and that's 918. That's this color. So maybe, maybe not with this, I guess. Maybe. Let's just go with this. Okay, and I'm gonna stitch like that, I think. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And starting with the loop. picture time so now you can see the dark brown marking to the to the left that is where I've started the new color one two three four stitches up to the right and now one two three dia diagonally down to the right And that's what's so good with parking, if you have made a mistake. And you stitch grid by grid, 10 by 10. I mean, you will notice the mistake within those 100 stitches. And that is very nice. Then you haven't, you know, stitched a whole bunch of stitches and you have to frog everything, you know, if you can't save it. And then I'm just going to park it underneath that stitch. I'm going to mark off and now I'm taking a picture showing you guys how the parking looks so you can see now in the picture that I've stitched the darker brown and then now you see two of those pinkish triangles and that means that the, I have two part threads there now. And the symbol in the pattern tells me that which color it is that I've parked. Very, very easy. 
Now, <clears throat> I'm going to stitch with, I think it's black. Yep, let's go with black. We're on a roll here. Yes, oh, <laughs> that was a long thread. Let's see. So I'm gonna park with, um, I will show you five colors. So. kind of cool um, that um, the app actually shows you w in which corner you parked the threads so when you're stitching 10 stitching yeah it's just gonna you know keep that information for you you don't have to think about that mm. oh coffee is so nice Yes. And then I'm starting the black here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Let's mark. Now you can see in the picture that there is like a big black uh, marking here. So that's where I started stitching. And so it's a full stitch. And then I have two partials, one to the left and one to the right. Easy peasy. And then we had a black stitch down here and I will just start in the corner because then that makes the jump a little bit shorter. Like that. And then I'm gonna park the black underneath the black. Now I have three part threads. Ooh, it's, it looks so nice, you know. I feel like now I'm not going to be able to stop. <laughs> Let's mark them off. And then I park the thread there in the lower left corner. I'm sorry, I'm hiding behind the camera. Well, you guys know me by now. So, picture time. Now you can see. Now you can see three pinkish uh, triangles, right? And you can see where I've stitched. Cool, right? So now the next, you can see, no, you can't see. There is actually, um, another of the, the bright uh, orange over here. So, I'm I'm just I'm 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 gonna just gonna put those stitches in there. Parking is fun. Yes. It's a fun, fun, fun. And I know a lot of people get very scared and not like scared, scared, but they're hesitating to try parking. And I, th I think that's just the easiest way to stitch uh, big projects. Just find a way to keep those threads out in the way. And because there are so many ways to start and end threads, you know, without leaving and, you know, these ended, uh, you know, the thread ends up 
or knots and everything I, I usually started with a knot in, in front of the work so they were like in the way you don't need to do that so easy to uh, there are simple ways you know so there I think there's there's three stitches and a partial no what am I doing Jesus I need not to do it that way. Whoops. Come on. Now I have a knot in the back. Oh. Let's do this again. and a partial like so and then I'm parking it not there but I'm jumping one to the left there we go now we have four part threads let's mark mark them off like so and then I'm gonna park it and now you have have this so let's jump to the to the white Those were tiny threads. Do I want that? Well, it's not a lot of white. Maybe it, I can use those. Let's start with a pin stitch. So there's nothing in there. Isn't that strange? Oh, I don't know. Let's start. Here, I'm starting in the middle with that stitch. I go up to the to the right and I leave a small end. I go down in the middle. Like that, and then I go up where I went down the first time. I don't see anything because it's white. There maybe. And then I go down in the middle again. And that should be nice and secure. And then I start stitching. So there's only two stitches in the next grid under here, but because I'm showing you guys how I'm parking, I'm gonna park the thread. Otherwise I would have just stitched stitched the stitches and leave it like that. So now we have five colors parked. I'm going to cut off that end like that. Mark off where I stitched and where I parked. I'm going to show you. Like 
Mm. My bad. There was a stitch up there. Let's um, mistake. Yep. So I'm going to show you where I stitched, where it's wide in the pattern. That's where I um, stitched the white. And now you can see that there, there is a uh, pink triangle there, two close to each other there, and then there's one there and one there. So in the grid, which is 10 by 10 here, all those stitches are now done. And that went pretty fast with parking, didn't it? So now I can choose, you know, the grid to the left. No, now I'm lying. This is the whole grid. So I want to go to the right, right? And then I wanted to, I wanted to show you guys also the other. Mm, yeah, let's do that. Um, I'm going to go down. There's one grid starting here underneath. I think you can see it. Let's see how. Yeah, let me restart the camera. Right. Um, so there is a grid starting here, 10 by 10, where I have this thread uh, part. And in this grid, I have the lighter orange, and I wanted to do that as well. has been such a great day. I've been energized. I've been crocheting, cross-stitching, shopping, out in the woods, been out with the dogs, doing dishes. And what I haven't done is I haven't made dinner. My husband made dinner. So my daughter daughter got some food to eat. And I think I might have some time over to for some knitting as well. But now when I started this parking, I feel like continuing. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so uh, this uh, color is started to the left of that parked thread. So now you have lots of part threads ready to be stitched. You don't have to pick those colors up anymore until, you know, um, that um, thread is uh, like done or you're done with the color. Or like if I'm doing like a really long jump, I, then I end the threads. So I'm just going to show you how am I going to stitch this. I'm going to go that way. So I will show you now in the picture. Let's do so you can see that part thread so you can orient orient orientate yourself whatever yeah so to the furthest to the right you can see the part thread which is this so there's a pink triangle there 
and to the left of that triangle there is a light orange marked stitch same thing with just down to the left so this is that's where i put where i'm making this stitch now right so this is how the pattern was marked and now i have two more stitches of this color to the right so if this you see this is the little problem with parking you have a thread like being a little bit in the way that's what I don't like about parking otherwise it's fun so but you can you know you can find things and just tie the thread upwards like that then it's not so much in the way So now I'm looking in the grid, the grid that is, you know, 10 by 10. And I'm looking, are there any more colors? Um, any more stitches in the grid with this color? And there is, there is uh, three more at the bottom right. And I'm going to jump over there and stitch them. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then it's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to the right. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can recount one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when you do these jumps, you know, it's not strange if you miscount by one. doing this just you know to show you and you don't have to jump there you can you know park the thread closer and get back to these stitches later on when you have done more in that grid so you don't miscount So there were four of those there. And then I see that there's a partial. So there's one down there. So the thing is, I think that's that kind of partial. Let's just do that one. No, I will do the complete. Okay, and I can't mark that off because there's a black one as well. So now I'm going to go back up here and I will park this light yellow in the grid where all the other threads are parked. And I can look at my pattern and I see that there's a stitch there. So I'm going to park it like so. So now you have one part in the grid to your right and then you have five part threads here to the left so i'm going to park that one i'm going to show you i'm going to actually 
mark that as well so you don't get oh yeah never mind so so now you can see that there is another uh, pink triangle here. And that means that I parked that thread there. It's very nice and easy. It's a lot of fun. If you stitch, you know, you can vary, variate, you know, your stitching um, by stitching different ways and different uh, you can do 10 stitches, full stitches, you can part, you can cross country page by page, you can extreme cross country, you can choose one color and finish all that and then or you can mix the colors, whatever you feel like. So it's a lot of fun and it makes you not get so tired of it. Um, but that's how I park and I enjoy it a lot. I do. Like so. So. I don't know. I think maybe I will continue this today because that was a lot of fun to park. Um, and I'm very curious at, of how uh, it will continue down uh, the pattern actually so it's important to grab uh, what you're motivated to do uh, to keep the fun that's what I think is most important anyway uh, so yeah I know this is a very long uh, plus two maybe I should have put the parking as a tutorial or a stitch along video I don't know but this is how I chose to do it today uh, so I want to thank everyone for watching and for subscribing. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to do that because then I will see you next time. And as you know, 500, we're having a giveaway. Spread the word. Uh, have a good day. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, you know what to do. Right. Take care. Bye.